Hey everybody again, um, Mr. King. Uh, this is my video response to discussion 1B, time to be negative. Um, I did take some notes during this discussion. I take notes during every discussion so I can remember some of the thoughts I had during the videos and uh, have talking points uh, of my own and stuff like that. Um, first thing I want to say is that I do agree um, that we do have a compassion issue in our society. Um, we see this on social media all the time with social experiments that people do um, with like sexism and racism. You know, you got, I watched a video the other day of people pretending to be blind. Um, one is a white guy, one's a black guy, and a lot more people help the white guy. Um, I watched a social experiment video about um, a couple walking through a mall and the male was harassing the female, uh, you know, touching her, wouldn't leave her alone. And so many people came up to him and made him stop. But when they flipped it and the female was harassing him and touching him un inappropriately and doing all these things, a lot of people were kind of confused and like, what are you doing, man? She's gorgeous. Like, why don't you just uh, give into it and stuff like that. So we see a lot of double standards in society. Um, and a lot of negativity on the media, so, so yeah, I, I do agree um, that people aren't caring as much, and I guess that's a little true for me too. Um, but I'm not, you know, I won't go into that super uh, detailed, um, you know. So yeah, I mean, can't really blame them, just like Mr. King said, you know, uh, with everything we see going on. Um, Talked about the store being closed, trying to get to breakfast, and the person with the key didn't show up because they didn't, you know, they didn't care. And the people that did care or needed money, you know, to provide for their families or themselves, are the ones that did show up and probably lost a day's worth of hours because of it. Um, you know, uh, talked about these students getting upset, they can't understand some of the things, or they don't care to understand, or at least try. Um, and the teachers that do truly care, you talked about it's, it's hell for them right now. And I think that's kind of true for um, anybody that cares because I think a lot of people lack empathy. I know um, as you get older and experience more of life's uh, ups and downs, I think you gain more empathy. And a lot of people also don't really show very much sympathy towards others um there's a big difference between the two because you know obviously empathy is kind of being able to put yourself in their shoes because you went through the same thing or uh, this, you know experienced the same loss uh, you know grew up in the same way um had a troubled childhood or some people didn't so they you know, don't really you know some people grow up in a nice family with their, both their parents. Some people grow up in broken families. Um, so, yeah, I think there's a lot of lack of empathy. Um, and when you care so much, it hurts. It hurts really bad. And then if you think that... Sorry. Uh, when you believe that people don't care about you, it gets tough. I know that's not true in my case. I know people care about me. Um, sorry, I'm, uh, I'm at the point, the Thanksgiving part. <sighs> On my notes, or Mr. King uh, said he would help people on Thanksgiving. On well, last Thanksgiving, I uh, I made 100 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and handed them out to the homeless people in Kirksville. Um, but I'm not going to be with my kids thanks this Thanksgiving, so it's just going to be me and my wife here because I'm on house arrest and I can't go anywhere. And I'm thankful for my wife and. Uh, happy that we get to spend Thanksgiving together, but 
not having my kids is really hard because they're in foster care right now. Um, but, uh, you know, I think that's a really great thing that Mr. King, that you're doing. Uh, at this point, I assume that Mr. King is the only one that watches my videos. I, you know, I feel like ever since I made the video about my diet and, uh, my opinion about, uh, you know, how people care about cats and dogs so much, but they don't care about cows and horses and, well, not horses, but, you know, some of the animals that don't really hurt anybody, but we hurt them. And I feel like after that video, um, and it's not just after that video, it's just in my six years of being a, a vegetarian is, you know, I've lost uh, viewers on my videos, on my side work that I do at being an online streamer. Um, you know, I get made fun of, called not, not American, um, stuff like that. And, you know, at a certain point, you, you know, I don't make it a point to tell people that I am the way I am, but if someone says, like, do you like, oh, you know, do you like steak, or do you like chicken, it's like, yeah, I remember that, I remember that it tastes good, but, um, on the spiritual side, I just feel just different about it, you know, I have my own philosophy about it, and, um, stuff like that, but, you know, a lot of people quit talking to me, and, uh, you know, don't really care about my views and stuff like that, which is fine. Can't blame them, right? Um, but uh, the Thanksgiving thing really touched me because uh, there's a lot of people out there um, who don't have anywhere to go or eat with and stuff like that. And I saw that firsthand when I was handing out the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches on Thanksgiving, looking, watch, watching people. Uh, the one woman I gave about 25 sandwiches to, she was digging through a dumpster, um, but she was driving a Cadillac. Um, you know, I don't know what her circumstances were, but it doesn't really matter as she was digging through a dumpster looking for f food and clothes and stuff. So, um, on Thanksgiving day, so, you know, it really sucks that we take one day out of the year to give thanks when really we should give thanks every day just for getting up in the morning and, uh, being able to live, um, you know, regardless, you know, I understand a lot of people go through a lot of tough things, the tougher things that I could imagine going through, um, but that doesn't mean that the stuff that we're going through individually, uh, should be pushed aside, or, you know, we shouldn't be too judgmental, or judgmental at all, really, but, unfortunately, that has happened a lot, like me with my diet, um, I don't really care that people eat animals, people gotta eat, you know, uh, and, and as far as religion goes, people believe that animals were put here for the good of us. And, you know, so I understand there's that side of it. I used to be the same way. Um, but I don't want to go off on a tangent on that. Um, you know, some people get mad about too much positivity thing. Um, and I can understand that as well because, you know, let's say... You know, if someone lost a loved one, uh, maybe from a drunk driver or something, and they see all these people on the bars, and they just quit caring about those people because it's like, oh, you're the person that, you know, the kind of people that killed my per whatever. Um, so there's lots of different examples. I can't think of, you know, I'm having trouble thinking. My emotions are up and down. I call my therapist tomorrow to schedule more therapy and stuff like that um because i'm going through uh you know i would say this is the toughest part of my life that i've gone through so far i guess it could be called a midlife crisis since i'm 34 years old um and the email that mr king shared with us from one of the instructors asked about one word that we would have for that email and i would the one word i thought of was just negative um uh, you know, the unwillingness to help people, if you're able to, um, is a big issue, because I do believe if you're able to help somebody, you should, because there's a lot of people that need it, and, the, and it comes back to the cost of caring, is that w when you do care so much, or you have a more empathetic view, or personality, personality um, it does hurt a lot, 
it hurts a lot whenever we hear about school shootings or I hear about, a, you know, something bad happening to children. Um, you know, because children are, our most, are the most precious things. And, you know, my mom talks about the rapture and stuff like this uh, in her religion. And I can't help but think that if there was a rapture, I think the only people that would go is the children. Because they're really the only true innocent people. And that might not be true, uh, factually, but I just, that's just what I believe. I think children are just the most innocent and vulnerable people on the planet. Um, and um, so one of the questions is, why bother caring? Um, I just think a lot of people need it, you know? So that's why we should bother caring. and. We should try to be positive uh, if we can, when we can. Um, I know, you know, there's a term "fake it till you make it," where you just put a smile on and go about your business, even though you're struggling internally. Um, and a lot of people don't want to show that struggle, but uh, I've gotten better with it. Like in the past, uh, if I started crying or something on, like on this video, for example, I'd probably restart it, and make a new video, and be more tough. You know, like the army tough guy. I tried to show people so much that I was a tough guy that it eventually led to me getting in trouble and uh, part of what I'm dealing with right now. And in reality, I'm not such a tough guy. Uh, you know, I can be when needed, um, but I'm also a very emotional and sensitive person as well. Um, I think you'd have to be to not eat, to quit eating animals because you care about the animals so much, right? Um, and why should I care? I care, continue to care about others because people have come to me and told me that just by watching me play video games and talking to me in my streams that that I did help them through a tough time in their life or in one case, uh, you know, allegedly saved a life. And um, that feeling you get from that kind of stuff, some people might not have experienced yet, but it is truly an amazing feeling and so i understand uh you mr king when you when you when you say that there's when you help someone it comes back to you uh in many ways that might not be financially but it could be uh, spiritually emotionally um so not necessarily caring just to get that good feeling back but caring just because there's a lot of people out there that need someone to care about them. Um, you know, suicides are very high, you know, especially in the military. Um, and uh, should we continue to care in the future? And I think the people who do care, if, if they quit caring, then eventually there's going to be no one care that cares. And there's going to be more poverty and more suicides and more broken families and more divorces and more children growing up without parents. And, uh, you know, the list goes on and on. And <coughs> so the cost of caring, it could be a little bit financially since you want to financially help people or uh, it could um, cost you some mental you know, things like getting frustrated or depressed because you care, excuse me, um, I haven't eaten today, uh, so yeah, anybody that cares should continue to care, and I've even thought about, you know, to make my videos more popular, to make the headline of the post, the, the, like the sentence that people see when they see the video pop up is something controversial or negative because it seems like people come in more often on those. You see the videos of people getting uh, hurt or killed by the police and there's millions of views. Um, but you see someone helping someone else and it's, you know, thousands of views or whatever. Um, I'm not sure if people are inherently bad or inherently good, but I want to lean towards inherently bad and, and we're taught to be good. Um, 
by our upbringing and our, our parents or grandparents or uncles or aunts or any role model in our life um, that gives us, you know, a positive way of thinking about things and um, what's the point of trying to get ahead? Well, for me, the point of trying to get ahead is to leave my family and my kids with something, um, you know, so they don't have to pay to bury me or they don't have to, you know, they can take time off of work to grieve uh, and not worry about the, the, the cost that it's going to take to do that or, you know, not just about losing me, but um, trying to get ahead is just something that I think we should always strive for, you know, to keep moving forward and um, stuff, you know, stuff like that. I've taken so many steps back uh, this year. I haven't helped anybody uh, financially in a while. I haven't done my charity work. And it's mostly because I'm trying to make sure that me and my family um, get through this situation that we're in. You know, back when I had no uh, legal issues or um, state issues with the kids, which uh, my son was making ramen noodles and he burnt himself with the hot water. And my ex-wife called child services on us and they took all five of my children away. My two-month-old daughter, who's now nearly six months old. Uh, my two-year-old twins, my four-year-old daughter, my eight-year-old son, they're all gone right now, and we only get to see them once a week. Um, so continuing to try to, to get ahead and stay ahead is is for the people we care about. You know, there's a quote that I like that is, uh, you, you take care of you for me, or I'll take care of me for you if you take care of you for me. Something like that. I I don't I don't want to misquote it. It's basically you're saying you'll take care of yourself for, for others and hope that others will take care of themselves, either for you or for others as well. Um, and uh, Mr. King asked, what should he do in the future? And I say to you, Mr. King, uh, don't change. Um, don't quit caring. And I know you won't. I can tell that's the kind of person that you are, and I hope that's the kind of person that I am. Um, because I have noticed that uh, I'm having compa uh, compassion fatigue. Um, so uh, I think that's basically it. I can go on for 30 minutes. And I never rewatch my videos or anything like that. It's not to hear the sound of my own voice. It's just because I feel, you know, I know I'm only 34 years old and I'm a lot younger than a lot of the instructors and a lot older than some of the students. But um, I do feel like I have something to offer. You know, I've, I took public speaking so that maybe someday I can be a motivational speaker and help people uh, get through some of the problems that I had growing up and in my young adult life. Um, so if you do care about others and you have compassion and empathy, I encourage you to not change and to continue to be that way because less people, you know, like Mr. King said, less people are, are doing that, um, having compassion fatigue and not caring as much. So yeah, just don't go changing. Um, and also don't get mad about people who are trying to be positive and stuff like that because it is very hard to stay positive in such a negative environment and negative world uh, that we view it as. But life is what you make it. And, you know, if you wake up in the morning and start the day neg negative, it can snowball into a very negative day or week or month. And if you wake up positive, it can snowball into a positive day, week or month. So I hope that uh, covers everything. And... Hope whoever listens to this uh, just um, just keep being you, be yourself, you know. And as life goes on, you know, circumstances change, and maybe opinions change, and maybe your beliefs change. And um, I'm not saying that they should. Um, just uh, towards the the more negative people, I guess the the pessimists. I think they are. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm starting to 
lose my train of thought and run out of things to talk about. But like I said, I could go on about all this stuff, talk about my problems and how I'm, what I'm doing to try to fix it. And, um, but I hope everybody has uh, a great rest of their week, and I look forward to the next discussion.